I'm me. You are you. And this is our school news. The Dolphin Daily starts now. It's Monday and it's Chinese New Year. The Chinese New Year is almost known as the Spring... It's also known as the Spring Festival. And it's a time for family reunions, buying new clothes, and celebrating. Red envelopes filled with money are given to children at the Chinese New Year celebrations. The Chinese have several taboos or activities that are frowned upon during New Year celebrations. Many bad words like bad words like death, broken, killing, ghosts, illness, or sickness are forbidden are forbidden during conversations. Crying, washing, lending, and taking medicine are also considered unlucky. It's the year of the monkey, and according to Feng Shui expert Shen Sheng Afu. Babies born in the year of the monkey are regarded as a very hard working as very hard working and lucky. So, happy new year everyone. Let's get to our news. We hope everyone brought their Chromebooks and chargers so that we can be sure that our technology systems are ready for FSA testing. That is right around the corner. Mark your calendars for March 1st through 3rd. The days that everyone will take the real FSA writing exam. Are you ready? Tonight, our Ripple soccer teams will com will compete at Fort Myers Middle High. With Fort Myers High, with Fort Myers High, <laughs> game time at 5:45 p.m. Are you going? Wear your green and white. Buy your tickets for Valentine's Day dance. They are on sale from Mr. Rago before school. Room C15 or during your lunch shift. Pre-sale tickets are $2 and tickets at the door are $3. Regular school dress code applies on Friday. FMMA is also supporting the foundation for Lee County Schools scholarship program with our Thursday, February 11th, Jeans Day. Buy your wristband for $2 during lunch shifts. If you buy a wristband, keep in mind that your jeans would be traditional blue denim with zero rips or tears. Wear a Fort Myers Middle t-shirt or college logo shirt. Shirts still need to be tucked in and you need to wear a belt. It's all good. And are you looking for fun this weekend? Be sure to head out to the Stintastic at Harborside Event Center. On Saturday from 10 to 3, Miss K and a crew of her students will be demonstrating the magic of madness. Mag magnets. <laughs> there will be tons of other great STEM activities for all ages. We'll see you there. February is Black History Month, and if you've been watching the Dolphin Daily, you know that we've been featuring a Black History Month moment each day. Let's go to our special events reporter, Darielle, for today's episode where we talk about a gifted inventor. Hello, Ripples. Today in our Black History Month moment, we are taking a look into the life of a brilliant inventor. Frederick Jones, Frederick Jones was an inventor best known for the development of refrigeration equipment used to transport food and blood during World War II. Frederick Jones was a mechanical and electrical engineer, born in 1893. He was a self-educated and a ferocious reader who earned 60 patents in his lifetime, most of them related to refrigeration. What on earth would we do without refrigeration? In 1991, President George H.W. Bush awarded the National Medal of Technology, the first African American to receive this award. Frederick Jones overcame a difficult childhood with both of his parents dying before he was nine years old. He per persevered and achieved great success in his lifetime with inventions that continue to benefit us today. 
reporting on the life of Frederick Jones for Fort Myers Middle Black History Month moments. This is Daria Rodriguez, back to the news desk. Thanks, Daria. FMMA recognized the many contributions of African American people in the history and development of our country. We'll wrap up our broadcast with mm -hmm. today with a reminder to do our best each day and to appre pre appreciate the opportunities that are presented to us each day. Be kind to one another. Now, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Thank you.